Okay, so I got a Frigidaire dishwasher and the complaint is no heat. So I got the diagnostic sheet out on the counter there. So let's go through that. Okay, so I just pulled this uh, service data sheet out of the machine and you can run uh, a service test, which will test all of these individual things. Um, but you need to put it into um, power failure mode, but I can't gain access to the actual breaker. So we can't really do that one. So if I flip this over, um, we'll just have to follow the diagnostics. So dishwasher runs, but will not heat. So we're gonna check the heating element. Electronic control board, you can't really test that very well. You can test for power coming out of it, but um, the wiring going down to the heater and the, the high limit switches and the thermistor. So we will go check those. Okay, so I've just taken the, the two screws out that mount the dishwasher right there and there, so we can slide it out. So on your machine, um, make sure you turn off the breaker because you'll be able to, to do that. Um, I don't like not being able to turn off the breaker and testing a dishwasher, but sometimes I have to. Um, so I'm gonna get underneath, so I'm gonna pull it out and I'll, uh, I'll get you guys looking from the side. Okay, so we got the heater right here, these two connections. Um, so I've already checked in for power. There's no power going to it directly right now. So I'm going to pull off one of these connectors and put my meter on uh, resistance, just ohm symbol. And we'll check this heater. Kind of tough on you. <laughs> My power's going to it. So we have 14.6 ohms. So that heater is good. So we'll put that connector back on and we'll go to the other side. Okay, so we're on the other side. Um, so I've checked this side for power two. So the thermostat is right here, these two wires right here. So I'm gonna pull off one side. You always need to Pull off at least one side. Wow, these are really, <laughs> really on there. Um, wow, that's a little crazy. Make sure that dishwasher doesn't fall on me. Okay, so get that light back up there. Doesn't help a lot, but. Make sure you're actually getting uh, a good connection when you're going to leave one connector. You can disconnect both, that's fine. But if you're going to leave one on, make sure that you can get a good connection. So that is reading zero, 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 zero. zero. So that means it's good. So there's also. Um, a little um, reset pin on this thermistor. So if you were to read that and it read as bad, there's a little reset that you can push in, um, but it's not, uh, it's testing good. So I'm going to move on to the next thing. Okay, so the next thing I want to check is this thermistor right here on the wiring diagram. The other thing we just checked underneath was the high limit thermostat. This thing also has a thermistor, but um, I think we're gonna have to check it from the board. So I'm gonna take off this console here and uh, we will check it in there. Okay, once you take the screws off um, for the console, you're working everything's in here. So there's one, two, three screws holding this little cover on, so we'll pop those off and see what's in there. Okay, so according to the wiring diagram, there's a P310 connector, which is a yellow, that goes through the thermistor over to P39. So we can check it that way, or we can check 
to see if we have voltage here, just to ground. So, since I can't um, turn off the power, I'm just going to check it for power. Um, but we'll have to get the dishwasher running to do that. So, what we can do, close that, put it on a heavy wash because that will use the most heat. We'll just hit that start button. So that'll start to fill the machine. Um, now if I put my connector into the 10 on the yellow and check it to ground, I got 50 volts right now. So we'll just let that sit there a minute because the heater's not turned on all the time. It's very on and off. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but so we're 50.5 volts, which is not as high as we want to see. So we'll stick, leave this on here for a couple minutes and uh, hopefully that number jumps up to 120. So the meter is still showing at 58.3.4. Um, it hasn't been up. This thing's been running for about 10 minutes. So uh, we know that the board up here isn't supplying the right power through the thermistor. It's not going to supply the right power through the thermistor. It's not going to supply the right power to the to the actual heater. So. Um, the main goblet is this board up here. So the thermistor uh, I tested it underneath. It's got two yellow wires going to it from the board to down there. It's underneath on the back. Um, but it tested good. So yeah, it all comes down to this board. Just not so fine power. It just sits there at this 50 96. So it's you can also there's another one to do. There's a little connector here that runs down to the heater and the hot thermostat. That's red and it's a P8 connector here. So we can do is connect this to Okay, so I've been running for a while again. Um, connected right to the heater wire um, to ground, and it hasn't uh, hasn't given me 120 there either. So we know that uh, the board is is the dish. yield that has to be changed. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next one.